welcome back to my channel guys this clip was taken on the 1st of august so it's the beginning of a new month and it's the beginning of a new trimester for me and baby it's the first week of third trimester yay this vlog is gonna be about a daily routine i guess but also because tomorrow i'm gonna be going on the monthly checkup and because it's the first week of the third trimester tomorrow i'm gonna be orang kata minum ay gula oh my gosh i just want to make sure that i record that experience the journey to that actually starts tonight where i am supposed to fast if i want to drink water i should only drink like plain water that's gonna start tonight and then you can see in the earlier clips i have washed the baby's clothes there drying right now it's very hot today in kuching so i took the chance to wash her clothes and dry them immediately there's a pile of clothes behind me i'm gonna be doing that as well and then you saw also that my husband and i he received a package from mary Kay, so he told me to use them and then i actually saw this um, set Mary Kay time wise this big one over here is a 4-in-1 cleanser this is a day cream this is a night cream and this is an eye cream I'm gonna use it tomorrow because it has a day cream there I've already put on my own skincare so I'm gonna try this tomorrow and tell him how I actually feel about it I see also this is Mary Kay satin lips sheer sugar scrub this is also Mary Kay Satin Lips Sheer Butter Balm And we have here Mary Kay Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover This is Mary Kay Time Wise Moisture Renewing Gel Mask This is a deep cleansing charcoal mask And my favorite part of the parcel is this tote bag I've always wanted a small bag All the bags I have are so big so heavy to carry around. So thanks Mary Kay! It was very hot. It's kind of cloudy now, so I should go check the clothes if they are dry already. Yep, we're all good. Okay, I had to sit the camera down because there's so many things going on in the room right now But my focus is the baby's clothes So I'm gonna be sorting them out and then I'll put just some of them into this bag To get ready for the hospital trip. It's already the third trimester. We should be ready for anything Maybe I should show you what I already have inside here This bag is very big and it's very cheap. I bought it off Shopee There's this pillow inside the bag already i bought this pillow for travel purposes if we have to go anywhere in the car although this is not like a necessity or something but i just love to be prepared there's a laundry bag there's a changing mat milk bottles i have two small ones and one big one pacifier this pacifier is very cute wipes talon oil beauty oil eucalyptus oil on my body, like on the left side of my abdomen, I have ringworms. This is an antifungal cream. Yeah. I'm also thinking about washing the milk bottle. p.m. I have approximately one more hour before I start fasting. I just finished my bath so I decided I'm going to use one of the Mary Kay products. I don't know which one to use first. Since tomorrow I'm gonna be using the Time Wise set. I think I'm gonna use the Time Wise Moisture Renewing Gel Mask. Oh no, where do I open? I can see a pink formula. If you think I'm using very little, it's because it's in a sachet like this. Immediately, I feel cold. 
probably because it's hydrating gel mask. Oh, I still have more. The directions are massage a generous layer of mask onto cleansed skin, avoiding eye and mouth areas, leave on for 10 minutes, rinse or remove with a warm wet cloth. For an enhanced pampering experience, apply before bedtime and leave mask on overnight. So am I gonna use it for only 10 minutes or leave it overnight? We'll see, we'll see. So after I bathe, I had bread with peanut butter and then now I'm gonna have my red dates and then eat my medication and I'm ready. I'm currently lying down, it's already 10. I just finished washing Rosli Dobby on TV with my in-laws. Now that I'm lying down and I'm looking at my skin in the camera, it looks like I don't have anything on my skin. But when I touch it, it's very sticky. So I think I'm gonna be wearing the mask overnight for optimum results. So I'm gonna see how it looks like tomorrow morning. It's not like the mask where you normally put on and then you have difficulty talking or even smiling. It's like nothing is on my face. I like it. It's cold, not to mention. I love it. Unless my husband comes home and tells me to remove it, I'll have to remove it. It's time to go to sleep because tomorrow is an early morning and a long day. I'm back in my old Jag. Mm -mm. It's been a while since I've driven my own car. But anyways, um, it's five minutes to eight. I've already arrived at the clinic where I'm gonna do my monthly checkup. As you can see, I have my makeup on this morning. So I've been using the time-wise set, except the cleanser. I forgot to bring the cleanser this morning into the bathroom. And I used the moisturizing day cream and the eye cream. The first thing that happened to me was, I don't know if it's my sensitive skin, but as soon as I put on the moisturizer on my face, my skin was hot. Actually, until now, even though with the AC from the car, but I hope it's gonna be okay. I see that my makeup is put really well. Like the foundation or the concealer is not cracked. But then when I blended it with a beauty blender, it has that sound. I think it never happened before. So my lips has nothing on it. Like that's nothing, not even Vaseline. So I'm gonna try the Mary Kay Satin Lips Sheer Butter Balm. It looks like this. It's not focusing. Yeah, it looks like that. First thing, it's tasteless. Not like other lip balms, normally they have like a little bit of flavor. It has jojoba esters, sunflower, seed oil, shea butter, yes, mango seed butter, flavor and aroma. Not really. Okay, it's already 8. Anyone else does this because their face is small? Because if you don't do it, your mask is like hanging. Just spray some perfume. I brought my book to waste time. Safe I'm back. So it's already 4.30 in the afternoon. I went home from the clinic and then I went to the cafe and then I dropped my husband at the airport. And then I had a short meetup with a friend who is also pregnant. So I sent her some stuff for her to prepare for her pregnancy. The results came out this morning after the MOGTT that I have gestational diabetes mellitus. I'm going to be monitoring my own glucose readings every two weeks and I will also be starting to count the baby's kicks also tomorrow Okay, I'm back in the car because as I was walking into the pharmacy earlier I found out that another pharmacy was giving discounts to pregnant mothers so I'm going to a place that can save me up to more than 20 ringgit for a glucometer. Typical Malaysians, we go for the cheap ones. Okay, I got the item. This is the brand Contour Plus blood glucose monitoring system. Originally, the price was 110 ringgit, but because I have my registration book it's discounted up to 54 ringgit 90 cents isn't that cool they gave me a free box of the test strips and then you have this thing that is where 
the reading is gonna come out. We have the needles. These are the needles. This is where you put the needles before you poke it on your finger. So yeah, um, I have one last errand to run to before I go back home. Okay, I'm back home now. It's six, almost seven. Ah, what a day. I'm sorry I didn't get to record the process during MOGTT because everything happened so fast and then because it was a clinic so I didn't want to be filming and vlogging but yeah thank you if you have stayed this far and watched this far into the video don't forget to like this video comment down below on what else I should be doing and definitely subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye bye